back to another I ain't never made this before <laughs> anyway I saw a picture of these adorable little cookies and they're called candy apple cookies now they're not really little candied apples I have seen those and those are oh so cute but these are actually cookies but after they're finished they're supposed to look like little candy apples so I am hoping that when I finish these cookies Voila, they will look like little candy apples. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get this recipe started. Uh, candy apple cookies. Okay, to get started on our candy apple cookies, first thing that you're going to need, of course, is a stand mixer or a hand mixer. And then you're going to need a half a cup, which is one stick of, of butter that has been brought to room temperature. So it's nice and oh so soft. Now to that, we're going to add one third cup of uh, brown sugar. And we're just going to uh, blend that really well so everything is nice and smooth. Okay, to that you're gonna add a uh, one eighth teaspoon of salt and one half teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that up. Okay, now I'm gradually going to add one and one third cup of all-purpose flour. I'm just mixing this on low as it mixes up together. Okay, now our uh, candy apple dough is all mixed up really well today, together. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, roll these up into little balls and then we'll get them in the oven. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, dough, our cookie dough, all rolled into these little balls. And we would be putting them in a 350 degree oven, oh, 12 to 15 minutes, um, until they just kind of lightly browned. Now my um, cookie sheet here is just very, very, very lightly sprayed um, with some cooking spray. And this dough just, um, you know, because I, I have never made this before. <laughs> like like I told you, this dough is very easy to work with. I mean, it really is easy to roll into a ball. So that's, um, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so there's all of my little cookies um, rolled up into little balls. Now, you do not have to uh, put just 12 on the cookie sheet because these do not spread. They're going to stay um, in this shape. So we don't have to worry about leaving a lot of space uh, for the cookies to spread out because um, they're going to stay just like this. At least they're supposed to. <laughs> So we shall see. So anyway, into a 350 degree oven. These are gonna go uh, for about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so our cookies are just coming out of the oven. Uh, now the next thing that you want to do is to go ahead and immediately uh, add your toothpicks into each of the cookies. And then we'll let the cookies uh, cool uh, with the toothpick in them. Um, and hopefully, <laughs> They won't fall off when we dip them in the caramel. Okay, so now we've got all of our toothpicks in. You want to go ahead and just get them onto a cooling rack and let them cool completely before we dip them into the caramel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start making our caramel sauce. Now you're going to need either a double boiler or a pan that has boiling water in that you can set your other pan down into and melt your caramels. So I've got uh, 30 caramels uh, right here in my pan and I'm going to add some um, evaporated milk to it and that's uh, five ounces of evaporated milk. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right down into my boiling water and we're just going to let that boiling water melt our caramels and we're just going to need to stir it every once in a while and get everything 
nice and melted. Now when it's all melted and everything is smooth and mixed in really well together, um, our dipping sauce uh, for our candy apple cookies is gonna be all done. Okay, so all of our caramels has melted down and that is looking and smelling, oh, so yummy. So uh, our next step will be to uh, dip our uh, candy apple cookies in this and then roll them in some chopped nuts. Okay, y'all, so we're ready to go ahead and dip our cookies into our caramel and roll them into our nuts. Now, to be honest with you, this step scares me just a little bit. Um, I've got my spoon ready in case I have to fish out my cookie out of the caramel sauce. Um, so let's just go ahead, uh, and as you can see, uh, my little cookie there is on the toothpick, so uh, it's hopefully that toothpick is going to stay in that cookie. Uh, so I'm just going to take it and, and dip it right into my caramel. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Just let some of that excess drip off, and then I'm going to take it and I'll roll it around in my chopped nuts. Oh my goodness, how stinking cute is that? Here, I'm going to sprinkle some on top. How cute is that? Oh my goodness, I am loving this. Wow, that's just awesomeness. What? Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Wow, love it, love it. Let me sprinkle some on top there. Cute, cute. Okay, so that was fairly easy. So I'm just gonna continue uh, dipping and rolling my little cookies in the little chopped nuts. Okay, so our little uh, candy apple, I keep calling them caramel apple, but anyway, candy caramel apple cookies are all done and they are so very cute. Absolutely love it. Uh, so we're gonna let these cool down really, really well and then we're going to put them in a little Halloween um, cupcake liners. Uh, oh, so cute uh, for Halloween. Absolutely think these are adorable. Now we're just gonna have to taste one, make sure it tastes good. Okay, y'all, I hope that you will give these caramel apple cookies a try. They look oh so cute and they smell mm, oh so yummy uh, but we've got to taste one to make sure that they taste oh so yummy so um actually my husband's in the other room i'm gonna have him come in and taste one how's that okay hey baby yeah ba can you come here i <laughs> hey baby i got these um candy apple cookies dawn we're gonna let you be the guinea pig <laughs> Alright. They smell good, aren't they? Aren't they, sure cute? aren't they cute? Yeah, they're pretty too, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They really look like candy apples. Alright. So you want to try one? You betcha. Okay, well, try one. <laughs> or one of these. It doesn't matter. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. See, I, I took them and put them in these little cupcake liners. <laughs> Am I supposed okay. to take the whole thing or yeah, bite a piece of it? Yeah, just take, yeah, bite the whole thing in your mouth. Take the whole thing off the toothpick. Yeah, there you go. I'm hoping that it's uh, sweet, salty, and crunchy. Mm. <laughs> you like them? It's a mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> Bingo. Oh, yay! Sweet, salty, and crunchy. Just like I said. Yeah, good. Add one more. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, these are good. Oh, great. I'm going back to work now. Thank uh, you. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to take some of these to Kayla and Josiah. No. <laughs> I, I want to say, okay, that's enough. No. Oh, I want to save some for the grandchildren. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching, and I guess it's a great big thumbs up from Greg, so there you go. So I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.